Okay, for this next video lecture, so we will have our module number two. So this is entitled Overview of Auditing. Okay, so before we start with the discussion proper, so let us have a sort of a overview about the contents of this subject. Okay, so this module would include basic foundational concepts in the field of auditing, the framework and principles that is being used and followed in the conduct of audit is also considered, as well as the audit process that is commonly performed by the auditors during the financial statement audit. Okay, so at the end of this um, module, so you students should be able to Okay, number one, demonstrate understanding of the basic concepts in auditing. Second is for you to familiarize the framework and the general principles that governs audit. Number three is to identify and be familiarized with the objectives in conducting the audit. So here are our contents for this module. So for this uh, first video lecture for module number two, we will focus on the first content, which is about the overview of auditing. Okay, so let's begin with overview of auditing. Okay, so the American Association or the American Accounting Association defines audit as a systematic process of objectively obtaining and evaluating evidence regarding assertions about economic actions and events to ascertain the degree of correspondence between these assertions and the established criteria and communicating the results thereof. Okay, so in our previous um, module, we focused more on the assurance engagement and the uh, one uh, example of assurance engagement is audit or auditing. Okay, so in this module, we will focus on auditing. So this is how American Audit uh, Accounting Association defined the term audit. So based on this definition, so we will explain this by using the elements that we can get from this uh, description. Okay, so the first is um, in an audit, so there is an objectively obtaining of e and evaluating of the evidence. Okay, so in this case, just like in our assurance engagement, since audit is part of our uh, one of the classifications or uh, examples of the assurance engagement. So here, um, the, the, the practitioner or the auditor okay, in this manner will also gather sufficient appropriate evidence evaluate the evidence to support his opinion in the assurance report okay so meaning uh, the gathering of the evidence is very important because again it will um, provide uh, proof okay and support the opinion of the auditor okay without the evidence so the, the auditor will not be able to express an opinion because there is no proof okay, in, as to what uh, his belief or opinion is. Okay, so that's how important evidence is. Okay. So next, um, in audit, uh, there is assertions about economic actions and events. Okay, so when we say assertions before in our previous video lecture, so um, these are the strong statement okay, in this case of the management. So an example of an assertion is uh, what we can see in the financial statements of the entity. Okay, so this is our uh, this is their assertion about economic actions and events. So basically, this is represented by the different accounts that we can see in the financial statements. So the management are the ones who prepared this. So this is their assertion. Okay, so <clears throat> meaning in an audit, uh, the auditor will obtain 
in the evaluate evidence related to these assertions. Okay, so of course, um, uh, they will uh, because uh, the practitioner or the auditor in this case will provide opinion on the assertions whether uh, they correspond. Okay, so whether this uh, assertion correspond or conform with the established criteria. So again, uh, the assertion of the management is our subject matter. And here, the auditor will determine, will gather evidence, evaluate the evidence, okay, that which are related to this assertion, so that they will know if this assertion conforms with the established criteria. So for example, if our subject matter or the assertion of the management is the financial statements, so the auditor will gather evidence related to the financial statements, how it is prepared, how it is, or how the accounts come up with that amount and other related evidences, okay, which are considered to be appropriate. And then, uh, compare that and refer to our established criteria. So in this case, if a financial statement is our subject matter, so the criteria will be the PFRS. So in this case, the auditor will uh, refer to a PFRS if the management did uh, follow what is uh, stated in the standard. Okay, so this is the correspondence between the assertions and established criteria. And lastly, okay, after the evidence has been gathered and evaluated based on uh, or relate, that are related to the assertions and uh, the auditor um, refer to the established criteria whether this assertion conformed or followed the criteria. So after that, the auditor can now communicate the result. So the communication of the result is uh, found or is written in the auditor's report. So this is already his expression of the opinion. Okay, so this part of communicating the results. Okay, so that is what we mean by auditing or audit. Okay, so again, auditing is the system of process where the auditor will gather evidence and evaluate the evidence which are related to the assertion of the management okay and uh, evaluate whether this assertion of the management conforms with the suitable criteria that we will use and after the evaluation the auditor will communicate the result in his independent auditor report okay, in the form of expressing his opinion. Okay, so that is auditing. Okay, so the next question is why do we need to audit the financial statements? Okay, uh, is that a requirement? Okay, so in the Philippines, in our country, so under the train law, those companies, partnerships, and persons whose gross annual sales, their earnings, receipts, or output that exceeds 3 million pesos will have their books of accounts audited and will be examined yearly by an independent CPA who will perform the audit. Okay, so um, this is a requirement. So, meaning if uh, the, the establishment or the business entity falls under this classification, so they are required that their books or their financial statements be audited by the qualified practitioners yearly. Okay? So that is why auditing is essential because it is required by the law. Okay, next. Um, the Securities and Exchange Commission also 
requires corporate taxpayers to file audited financial statements regardless of their gross annual sales, earnings, receipts, or output. Okay, so in, in our under SEC, okay, so this is where the corporation are registered as well. Okay, so they regulate uh, corporations. So if your business qualified or is registered as a corporation, regardless of the amount of your sales or gross sales, you are required by SEC that your financial statements filed to them will be audited. Okay? So, this is mandatory. Okay? Requirement every year. So, SEC will also not accept if uh, the document is not stamped filed by the BIR. So, here, before the entity could submit and file to the Securities and Exchange Commission, they should first uh, file it in or to BIR, okay, before it is accepted by SEC. Okay, so you see, that is how important audit is in our country because it is a requirement every year. Okay. So the next is, or the next or the last part of uh, this topic is about the difference between accounting and auditing. So you already know and you are well versed of what accounting is. But now, uh, how do uh, accounting and uh, auditing different from each other? So you all already know that auditing is uh, also part of our uh, subject okay and uh, a branch or this is considered also as a branch of accounting okay but how are they different but they are still related however okay so we, in this uh, illustration we will um, compare accounting and auditing okay so the first comparison or parameter of comparison is the definition Okay, so you already know what is accounting, right? So this is uh, the process with by which day-to-day -day monetary records of the organizations are maintained and are further utilized to prepare financial statements. So these financial statements um, give the picture of the business health, their financial health. That is uh, what accounting is all about the preparation of financial statements to reflect the financial health of uh, the business okay so here you will record uh, the business transactions okay group them according to their accounts okay and then um, you prepare the financial statements and res uh, uh, report the results also in the form of uh, financial statements what about auditing? <clears throat> so here, uh, we have defined earlier what auditing is. Okay, so this is a different definition, but it's still related to that of the American Accounting Association. Okay, so in, in this description or definition, auditing is the process of comprehensive evaluation of the financial statements or records that are prepared under the accounting process so the main purpose is to verify its reliability okay so they are different however they are related because in this case auditing will use the result or the product of accounting which is financial statement so that will be the subject matter in auditing next how about uh, limitation in terms of limitation so accounting takes the input from the books of accounts okay or bookkeeping so this is the daily transactions that involve sales or something and utilize and prepare the financial statements of the organization how about in auditing? 
Okay, so in auditing, uh, it starts when the accounting is complete. Okay, so the financial statements prepared by the accounts or the management are verified to check its accuracy, completeness, and um, of course, to determine if it is trustworthy or reliable. Okay, so that's under auditing. So meaning, auditing will start when accounting ends because the end product of accounting will be used for the evaluation in auditing. How about uh, in terms of the mode of operation? Okay, so here, uh, for accounting, this is on a daily basis and a continuous process. Okay, because every day when there is a transaction, so we record them in our books. What about for auditing? So in auditing, this is periodic, meaning to say it can be done quarterly or yearly. Okay, or, or depending on the requirement on of the management. Okay, next, what about in terms of scope? So in accounting, um, the scope includes, uh, of course, the yearly financial statements, which includes the day-to-day -day, uh, transactions of the business. So this is uh, based on the past. Okay, we all know that in accounting. What about under auditing? So the scope of it involves, um, of course, uh, evaluating the past financial statements. Because as we all know, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I mean, the uh, auditing process will start when the accounting process ends. Okay? So that is the scope. Okay. What about, okay, so uh, for accounting, I mean that is current. Okay? Current. So we, we prepare whatever transactions would be. Okay. What about in terms of objectives? So the main objective of accounting is to assess where a company has earned profit or if they suffered losses. So we can get that information from our uh, financial statements. So this uh, established the current financial position okay, of the organization, even their performance. So that's what we can see from the financial statements. What about in auditing? So in auditing, the main objective here is to uh, verify the correctness of the organization's accounting record or financial statements. So this um, will be evaluated okay, if they indeed followed the standard or a particular criteria in preparing and presenting the financial statements. Okay, so next is the level of detail. Level of detail. So here, under accounting. Okay, so we, or in accounting, we always record those business transactions which has a finance, which is financial in nature. Okay, so we will record that in our books. Okay, to form the financial statements. Okay, so what about in auditing? So in auditing, the level of detail is sample-based. Okay, so in our next um, chapters and modules, you will learn about sampling. Okay, because in this case, for example, if the audit uh, involves all of the financial statements and um, there is limit, uh, not a limitation actually, if uh, the auditor will, or the management also as well will consider the time frame of the audit process. So um, in this case, the auditor cannot uh, evaluate the item comprehensively and in detail, each of the account. So what they will do is they will get a sample 
and then test that that sample if that uh, corresponds or conforms with the standards. Then, uh, in that case, uh, they can uh, provide opinion even with the use of sample for the whole financial statements. Okay, so next in terms of key differences. Okay, so financial, uh, yeah, other in, in accounting. So, uh, here we have the financial statements, which includes your income statement. Okay, our uh, Or the the financial statements which includes our statement of financial position, financial performance, um, profit or loss, cash flow statement. Okay, so what about under auditing? Okay, by the way, this is key deliver deliver deliverables. Okay, so in financial statements, we have the components. Okay, the next, what about under audit? Okay, so here we have the audit reports. Okay, so this is their deliverables or output. Okay, so next, who performs the accounting? Okay, so of course we all know that this is under the accounting department of a certain organization. So it can be... Uh, or prepared by the bookkeepers or the accountant. Okay, what about in auditing? So, in auditing, the audit can only be done by the qualified uh, practitioner or a, a, an accounting firm who offers audit or auditing services. But they should be qualified. Okay, so in our practice, before you can uh, consider to be an auditor, you should have at least three years of meaningful experience in the field of auditing. And you should apply for accreditation okay, for public practice. Okay, so that's how um, to determine if you are qualified or not to perform the audit. Okay, next is regulated or uh, governed by so who gov regulates or governs the accounting okay so here um, the accounting is under the account accounting standards so basically we are using PFRS in the Philippines what about in auditing so auditing is regulated by the standards in audit also so we in the Philippines we use the PSA Philippine standards on auditing Okay, what about a uh, report submission? Okay, so for the report submission in for the account for accounting, so this is submitted to the management for um, decision making also. Okay, so this is internally used by the management and even the owners okay, for decision making. What about in audit? So, where does this report is submitted? So, this is also submitted to the management, to the board of directors, and to the shareholders who will use okay, the financial statements for decision-making as well. Okay, so in this case, if that is unaudited, so um, it may not be that reliable. So, it should undergo audit. Okay. So that will be for the first part of our module number two, a case overview of accounting.